Hello Pixel Gunners and welcome to Pixel Gun Pro with another English Pixel Gun 3D video. As always, let me start by saying that I'm Danish, so my accent may be a little funny. I actually get a lot of crap about my accent. So please just bear with me. Today we are going to review the Bad Doctor and as you can see there, Getting a headshot is very, very bad. And the weapon itself, it's actually very, very bad too. First, I'm going to show you, before we get to multiplayer, that two body shots and a full armored player is down. If you get them a headshot, if you manage to do that, one headshot and they are down. The bad doctor has a poison effect, that means that you won't kill your enemy right away like laser or bullets. I think that this is a great disadvantage because they can actually manage to shoot you before they die. When Riley Soft um, announced the 11.00 update, as you can see, I'm actually having a lot of trouble with getting headshots. I'm not sure why, if this is a glitch, or I'm just a very bad aimer. So Riley Soft, um, when they announced the 11.00 update, it was the bad doctor that would, was all over the social media. I'm not sure why, as you can see there, a full armored player is down with one headshot. So let's get back to Riley Soft put pictures up on Facebook, Twitter, etc. of the bad doctor. I'm not sure why they chose to do that because as you can see I can't hit in I can't get any headshots. That's actually pretty pretty hard. And this is really really a bad weapon. In a minute we go to multiplayer, and I haven't seen the other reviewers review of this weapon, but I doubt that they got a very good gameplay out of it. I have only played a couple of matches with the Bad Doctor, I don't have time to play 10 or 20 matches and then take the best to show you, so with a little practice I might be better with this weapon. As you can see, one headshot and the player is down. But I think that this is the worst weapon I have tried in Pixel Gun 3D. And it's actually very OP. One headshot and two body shots for a kill. But I, as you can see, the bullet travels very, very slow. And I say very, very slow because it really, really does. I'm not sure why Riley Soft have, have added an aim scope on this weapon. Because if you're in a large map, the player can actually uh, just move if you shoot for the kill. So, let us try to take some gameplay. Yeah, as you can see, I'm really, really having a hard time hitting anything. I'm not sure how many kills I can get with this weapon. Whoa, that, that, was, that was luck. If I use my favorite setup, I can usually get maybe 20, 25, 30 kills in a 4-minute match. So as I said before, this is actually a pretty OP weapon. But I won't recommend you buying it at all. On a scale from 0 to 10, I would give this weapon 4. And I doubt that others get a lot of kills with this weapon. <laughs> I, I, I really, really think that this is hard to play with. Maybe I just suck with this weapon, I don't know. We all have different playstyles. But I consider myself a pretty decent player. So, 
if this weapon was, how can I say that, a normal weapon, then I actually think that I could get some more kills. But let's wait and see. I pronounce that I get, I don't know, 6, 8 kills max. And remember that I used a grenade. Yes, that was, that was a little cheating. This is bad doctor only gameplay. I know, I know. Oh, sorry, I used a grenade again. Sorry about that. So, as you can see, the aim is not, the scope is not worth very much. And I just can't seem to hit anything. Oh, that uh, that blue thing. What is it? The ghost lantern? I don't remember. That's actually pretty good for this map. The bad doctor is not a weapon for large maps. This is a weapon for close range combat due the bullet travel so slow. And you really need to be a... I, I don't, I'm not even sure that if you are... A pretty good awesome player that you will get a lot of kills with this weapon come on that is really real this is really really an annoying weapon let me tell you that and I don't recommend any of you to buying it remember to like and subscribe and remember to follow us on our social media on Instagram. I almost every day upload short 10 seconds videos of awesome sniping kills. You can also follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest, etc. You can find links in the description below. Let us see how many kills we got. Six, maybe. 8 kills, let us take one more fight before we end this review. So I wouldn't recommend anybody to buy this weapon. If you want a poison weapon, check out my review of the Toxic Bane. That is worth much more than the Bad Doctor. So in short, the Bad Doctor is really really bad. And yes, I'm pretty serious about this. If you have any tips to how to improve my gameplay with the Bad Doctor, I am all ears. But I doubt that any of you would get 15 kills in a 4 minutes match with the Bad Doctor. If you do, I'm pretty pretty impressed. So, so uh, once again, I actually get a lot of crap about my accent. Please let us focus on the videos. And I also get a lot of crap about my voice. I'm actually trying to to do my voice a little uh, different, but I don't know why my voice sounds so deep on tape. It doesn't sound like me at all in real life, let me tell you that. Oh, did we uh, hit him? Yeah, we may be dead. So as I said before, those toxic weapons, the great disadvantage is that even if you do get a kill in or a hit in, they can still manage to kill you before they die. So I prefer lasers or bullets at any time. Come on. Oh, we actually got that player. I got a hit. Alrighty then. So... The Bad Doctor, once again, is really, really bad. Don't buy it. Or maybe I just am very, very bad at using this weapon, but I, I really, really doubt that other, other reviewers, they get much more kills than me. So let me hear your opinion in the comments below about how you feel about the Bad Doctor. Come on! We couldn't, yeah, oh, whoa, whoa, we got a kill assist. That's pretty, pretty awesome. Oh, can we get him? No, oh, come on. So remember to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Have a nice day, Pixel Gunners. And that was a little too early. 
because I can see we have a minute left of the match. <laughs> well, then I'm in good time. So the mobility of this weapon is not so great, so I'm using the burning tie error. Then I'm using then I'm using the uh, double jump boots and the demolition mask UP2 to get some height. You need to move around with this weapon or you get killed all the time. Oh no, I really find it hard to hit anything. Oh yeah, okay, we got him there. How many kills do we get in this match, you think? Four? Five, maybe? I'm not sure, but this is not a weapon I will use ever again, ever. I have only played these two matches and I won't use it again. I don't even want to bother practicing with this weapon because I'm, I don't know why. I just think that this is very, very bad. So, thank you for watching, have a nice day, and remember, do not buy the bad doctor.